Hello Roblox team, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make doors on Roblox. So I'm going to show you guys how to make two different types of doors. So the first type of door is going to be one to where whenever you touch it, let's get rid of that, to whenever you touch it, it disappears, and then after three seconds it will come back and it will be solid, like right now you can go through it. Although, and you can change, um, you know, whatever transparency you want. Right now I think I have it at 0.7 on this one. and then. Also one to where you click it, it disappears, and you can walk through it, and then it comes back. All right, so what the first thing that you're going to need to do for this, uh, let's actually, yeah, let's just delete these two doors. All right, so the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to insert. The first thing that we're going to do is the touch door, just so you know. All right, so we'll make this the door right here. And we'll name it door because that's a good name for a door. All right, and uh, make sure that's with an uppercase D because that will make a difference. Or if you're not going to make it with an uppercase D, stay consistent. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show how to do it if it is an uppercase D, just so you know. So you, if you want to, like, you know, copy down exactly what I'm doing, then you're going to want to make it an uppercase D. All right, and we're just going to make it like a little button. All right, so the first thing that we're going to need to do is go into the button and make a script and insert a script into the button. All right, although actually, you know what? Let's uh, go and group these two together just that way. And we'll just name it door one. Just that way uh, we know that it's the touch door. All right, so now you're going to need to go into the script and, of course, delete the first line like usual. All right, so there's an easy way and a not so easy way to do this, or a quick way and a not so quick way. Um, I'll show you the quick way, and I'll explain the other way whenever I'm sh doing the other door. All right, so the first thing that you're going to need to do is door equals script dot parent dot parent dot door with an uppercase D, and see so if um, if you name this any different. So if I named this door one then I would have to change this to be door one. But since, you know, it's door, I'm just going to leave it at that. You're going to do function and then touched with an uppercase T and then parenthesis other part, lowercase, oops, lowercase O, uppercase P. And then you're going to do door dot transparency equals and if you want it to disappear completely, you're going to use one. If you don't, uh, I'll just make mine uh, eight. That way, it's not completely gone, but it's still not solid. Like, you're going to get the idea that you can walk through it with how clear it's going to be. And you're going to need to do door.canCollide equals false. This is going to make it where, um, like, you can walk through it. And you're going to do wait. And let's just do three. So, um, but you can set any time you want in there. This is how many seconds it's gonna do it. So if you press one, it's gonna disappear for one second, or not disappear, but you know, like uh, faded for one sec, or for you know, however long you put. And you're gonna do door dot transparency. And did I make that looks wrong? I think I made a spelling error. Trans yep, I forgot the R. I thought it looked a little weird. Transparency equals, and then we're going to have it to where it goes back to solid. Although if you want, you can make it towards, you know, something else. Uh, to where it's not completely solid. And you're just going to do door dot can collide. And it's with uh, both seeds are uppercase, uppercased, not uppercated. Wow, that should be a word though. All right, and then on the last line, you're just going to do script dot parent dot touched and then you're going to do a colon oops connect and then you're going to do parenthesis touched and then that's it all right so actually i'll just go ahead and explain why we did this right now all right, so every single time that you see door, so like right here and here and here and here, like for the four times that we used it, if we didn't do that, we'd have to write script.parent.parent.door 
on each one of these. So it just makes it a lot quicker to do it this way. All right, so now we're just gonna test out the door and see if it works. All right, see, so it goes faded. And then after three seconds, it goes back to solid. So, um, yeah, so that's the first one. All right, now we can do that. All right, now, so on the, oops, did not mean to do that. All right, so on the second one, on the uh, one where we click the parts, we're going to need three parts. One for, you know, the door, and then the other two for the buttons that you're going to click. All right, so let's just make, let's just uh, skip the resizing and all that. Just make a green button and a red button, which I mean really doesn't matter the colors. All right, so now we're going to name the door door because once again that is a wonderful name for a door I cannot think of a better name all right and then let's name this red just that way we know that that's the one and the red parts gonna be the one that closes it green is going to open it all right and then let's group these together all right so now and let's name this one door Two. I'm getting really creative with the names, just so y'all know. All right, so underneath green, uh, let's go ahead and start with that one. We're going to insert into a script, and you could do the exact same thing to where um, you click it and then it disappears, and three seconds later it comes back. But um, I'm not gonna do that just um, to show y'all how to do it the other way. Although, just so y'all know, I mean, you know, of course, it doesn't have to be, like, you can experiment with it quite a bit. All right, and then you're going to do dot door. And then you're going to do function on clicked. And then you're going to do two parentheses uh, facing each other, but nothing inside of them. And you're going to do door dot transparency equals and let's just make this one 0.5 we don't want it to go completely away but we still want it to oops can collide equals equals false so you know this will make it to where it disappears and then on the last line you're going to do script dot parent dot click detector which we still have not added that in um, but that's basically what just makes it so that it knows that the part can be clicked because if you don't add that it's not going to do anything if you click it connect and you're going to do parenthesis on clicked lowercase o uppercase c all right, so now what we're gonna do, uh, let's just go in and test it to make sure that the green button works, because, oops, I forgot to add in a click detector. All right, so let's just go in and add that in. Oh, we'll just do this, like that, add one into green, add one into red. All right, and then once we know that green works, all right, see, so it'll stay like this forever because it's not going to, like, change back. All right, and so now what we're going to do, we're going to take the lazy route and just copy the script and then paste it into red. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to change it. So let's just make it to where it goes back to zero. Although, actually, you know what? Let's change it to where it doesn't go completely back. It's still a little bit see-through, but then we'll make it to where it's solid and so you can go through it and you do that and see so it's still a little see-through but it's solid and so you know like i said you can make it to where whenever you click it it will wait three seconds come back and then same with this one you can make a red button and a green button so i mean yeah you can basically interchange it but typically it's known as you know you click it or like you know there's the click ones and then the touched ones but anyway, so that sums up the tutorial for today. So if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below of what you thought of it. 
and any other future tutorials you'd like me to see or if you have any questions about like the door stuff I can't really think of any questions right now but who knows what kind of questions y'all can come up with um, just leave them down and I'll try to answer them to my best of my abilities and yeah don't forget to subscribe so that you can get notified whenever I make future videos and see you next time